Hello, my name is Mel Wade. We're at Offered Evolution, and this is Evo One. Offered Evolution is an off road shop in Southern California. We build anything from full custom vehicles to regular lift kits from Jeeps to Broncos to Raptors and everything else in between. What makes Evo One so special is it's a production vehicle, it's a production frame. We bought this thing in 06 when they first launched the, the JK, the current model year, and we built it up with beefy aftermarket parts. So we have the best axles underneath it, we have the best shocks on it, we have the best lift kit on it. We tested this vehicle, raced this vehicle, and trains all over the country, all over the world. We're gonna walk you around EVO 1 and show you some key components. I wanted to talk about the uh, suspension first. Suspension's key out in the desert. We run King coilovers, a 2.0 coilover with a 3.0 King bypass shock next to it. It's a position sensitive shock. So when it's going through the cycle, we can actually control where it gets soft and stiff throughout the cycle. We run an EVO long arm kit on it. It's an off the shelf kit. It's been proven, durable. Other key elements are lighting. When we're out in the desert, we need the best lighting possible. We run KC LED lights. We run a light bar on the top, A-pillar bars, and we actually run some lights off to the side so we see our side visibility. We run a big LED bar in the front. We can actually see better at nighttime than high noon. Other interesting stuff for off-road racing is we actually breathe through a filter. So we pump air into our helmets right here and then it'll cool the top of our head and give us clean air. So we actually have an air filter on the back that's pumping air in to our impact safety helmets. Wanted to go over some stuff underneath the hood. The design of the engine compartment is pretty critical. You want to plan on the worst. It might accidentally roll over, might get hit by another car, who knows what. So you want to have everything underneath the cage. Uh, so, so if you do roll over, you're not going to ruin your cooling and stuff like that. Cooling is very critical out here in the desert. We have to be able to run full throttle for hours upon hours, possibly 28 hours, some of these races before you time out. So you want to be able to go as fast as you can throughout all that. And then we ended up building a big stroker motor. Last year it's been running great. Running a 727 uh, torque fight transmission with a manual valve body in it. So what that means is you have to shift it just like a stick shift, it's just no clutch. So first you have to shift, second, third, and then uh, reverse. So it's a manual valve body. Wanted to talk about tires and wheels. We run a KMC Machete beadlock wheel with 3 8 bolts and it's a counter bore on the beadlock ring so uh, rocks and stuff won't take off the bolt. This tire right here is actually just 640 miles of the toughest hardcore desert race in the United States, Vegas Torino, and they still look like new. Very stable going fast. When we start talking about kind of a race vehicle all around, we need it to perform well in all kinds of areas from rocky trails to high speed desert, sand, mud, all that stuff. This seems to do it all. This has the grooves in the side, which keep us like a rudder of a boat. We're able to actually steer in really sandy washes where normal tires will tend to hydroplane. So this will keep us going straight at high speeds. The dirt uh, or silt is so thick, sometimes you can't even see in front of your face. Uh, that also comes uh, another topic, navigation. I usually run two GPSs in here, but we're on one really up close to the copilot that's actually keeping us on course. And then I'll usually run on one on my side, zoomed out maybe about five miles. So I know if there's a big sharp turn coming up, that's all I'm really looking for. Off-road racing, there's so many variables. There's dust where you cannot see. We're doing top speed in this thing, is right about 111 is, is, is what I can get out of it, wide open in a desert, which may not sound like much for a street guy, but think about gotchas. When I say gotchas, it's holes and ditches. You're going wide open, seeing as far as you could possibly see, but you also need to be able to slow up in a time where you're not gonna get hurt. Uh, Off-running just has so many variables. It's adapting and overcoming. It's not for the weak. It's not for the glam. You're out there covered in dirt. There ain't nobody to see you. Maybe the helicopter caught, caught a shot of you and would come by, but it's out there because you love it. And the community that goes with that is phenomenal. Off-road is a big family, and I love being a part of it.